chicken and corn. Hey, what's going on? Let's hug your Pacino. Look, let's do a two for one. I'm going to show you some things that you didn't know about El Paso. We're going to go over that video about the shooting in Dayton, Ohio. So first thing we're going to talk about is the things that we didn't know about El Paso, Texas. Here we go. A big shout out to Laughter and Comedy. All Hi everybody, I'm Brian Seeley with Laughter Hours Comedy. Everyone yeah, has Laughter Hours and Comedy, all credit to them. ...has their dirty little secrets and cities are no different. Here at Laughter Hours, we've assembled five things that they don't want you to know about El Paso. Get ready for some chisme. Fact, El Paso is surrounded by government research facilities and military bases. El Paso is surrounded by military bases and government research facilities? Word! That's even more, that's even more weird that a guy was able to come in and do what he did. Not to mention that Texas is an open carry state. If you've been watching any movies in the past few years, and by the past few years, I mean the past 50 years, you know that most disasters start at some kind of research facility, and El Paso is surrounded by them. We've got Fort Bliss and White Sands Missile Range, which was home to the very first nuclear bomb. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. That only ever happens in movies. Well, if you want real danger, how about the fact that Nazis were allowed to roam these facilities? <laughs> That's right. White Sands Missile Range was home to Project Paperclip, which used Nazi rocket scientists illegally smuggled into the country to work on government projects. It bears mentioning that these Nazis were not fully reformed, and some of them actually settled down here in El Paso, Texas, and made lives. So if you're ever wondering why you can find so much Nazi memorabilia in the downtown pawn shops, there you go. Speaking of military research facilities, atomic bombs were tested 20 miles away from El Paso. The government of the United States of America decided that the area of White Sands Missile Range, situated about 20 miles from El Paso, was, at the time, far enough away from populated areas to test atomic devices. Yes, you heard that correctly. On July 16th, 1945, the first atomic bomb, codenamed Trinity, was set off not 20 miles away from where you live, work, and play. The weapon design, codenamed The Gadget, was the same design as the bomb that was dropped over Nagasaki, codenamed Fat Man. It produced an explosive power equivalent to over 20 kilotons of TNT. Not only did they happily set this bomb off, but scientists made bets on how effective the bomb would be, ranging from dud to complete worldwide destruction. Today, more than 60 years after the original tests, residual radiation at White Sands Missile Range still is 10 times higher than normal. Kinda. The area is fenced off, but there are still tours every year or so. Fact, the our area, system- The area is fenced off, keep that in mind. I like how you snuck that in at the end. Good, good looking out. Our city used to be the most dangerous city in the world. El Paso is one of the safest cities in the United States. It's ranked in the top five for the past seven years. The top five safest city in the world? Man, any fucking way. So let's get over here to this room. First of all, I'm tired of people Snapchatting. Who is Snapchatting? Zach was recording motorcycles waiting for me to get off when everything happened. So sad. Prayers for anyone affected. First of all, we need to know who that person is. See, one thing about these Snapchat people, man, it's hard to really catch them. You know what I'm saying? Like, on some, some real shit. We need to find out who that dude is. Where is he? Let's find his social media. We need to oh, come. fuck. The key thing I want y'all to pay attention to is who's screaming? Where are the loud screams? Where are the terrified yells and shit like that? Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, 
All I hear people say, go, 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 go. I don't hear nothing about no, ah, ah, I can't believe. No, I ain't heard none of that. And come on, we see movies that are more real than this. These are a couple bodies just right here. I'm just showing y'all just the two that I see. Couple bodies, right? Where they at? You just said it was right here. Where they at? Couple bodies Bruh. over there. Bruh. Mm. Bro, there's just dead people on the roads everywhere, bro. Bro, there's dead people on the road everywhere, bro. There's just a mass shooting down here, bro. Now, you notice how he like, bro, 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 but he was just, he put emphasis on it was just a mass shooting. How do you know it's really labeled a mass shooting? Like, who thinks mass shooting? Well, I be like, man, it was a shooting there, bro. A lot of people got shot. We don't think mass shooting in that context oh god look at this shit that's just groups of dead people on the road bro i swear to god on my he said groups of dead people on the road <laughs> on, on my kids bro y'all gotta check on y'all peoples bro no bullshit y'all nigga check on y'all people it's like it's probably like my can't even, it's just it's just bulks of dead bodies over here bro bulks bulks Right, I'm back, I'm back, look. No cap. It's no rap cap right now. They said it's at least 12 motherfuckers dead right now that they know of. They just all over the street. All I know, if there's a dead body on the right side of him over there where he just showed, they should have taped that off, but apparently it's not a dead body over there, is it? That's a part of the crime scene. Why is it outside the yellow tape? I'm just asking questions. That's all. But I got people keep calling me, bro. It's like 12 dead motherfuckers laying in the street right now, bro. It's groups. Mass shooting, bro. He said it again. Mass shooting. Mass shooting. Mass shooting. Stop it, bro. You, that's all you can say is, bro. You, can, you barely can speak in complete sentences, but you can say, mass shooting. seven dead people, bro. We still ain't heard nobody scream yet. Bro, they said it's at least 12 of them. Bro, I, I saw something my damn so I ain't keep going. Bro, I heard the shit. Everybody just trampled over everybody. I could be wrong. The yellow tape might be on the outside. Let me see where the yellow tape is. Go up to the right again, bro. This shit, bro, they shot at least, bro. It was at least like 40. There's at least like, there's like at least 40, 50, shoot, 40, 50 shots going off, bro. There's so many motherfucking dead people, bro. Niggas. That's the, y'all need to check on y'all people, bro. I don't know what happened, bro. We was in the club. Next thing you know, bro, it was a 50 shots. Now, just the same dude said he was in the club. He said he was waiting on his girl. The girl just showed a video of him waiting to get off. Now, maybe this was somebody else that maybe they're not the same people. Maybe it's two different people that recorded it. But... I guess, but if he was in a club, hey, whatever. That's probably not. I mean, the people walking away like everything is just normal. They act like they're just leaving, you know, leaving the scene. Like, okay, it's time to go home. Nobody's terrified. Nobody's screaming. This shit getting crazy. You hear me? They out here with the pumps and everything. I ain't gonna lie, this is the worst shit I've ever seen in my life, bro. I am not gonna tell Everybody just walking around slow and normal. Still ain't heard a scream yet. To you, bro. Like they. It's just groups of dead people, bro. No cap. It's just groups. Still no scream, she look normal, they look normal. No screaming, no nothing, no blood on nobody. I don't see any blood on anybody, I don't see nobody terrified. They just getting on the phone, walking around.
What did he say? They laughing and shit, joking. Come on, man. It was all these people got shot. Y'all laughing and joking? So we can hear people laughing and joking, but we can't hear nobody screaming and sound shocked, hysterical, anything, huh? <laughs> Y'all forgive me, it's kind of dark right now. Dude says it's his sixth night out there in Dayton, Ohio, so he's not even from there. So he's been out there for six nights. So why you in Dayton, Ohio for the sixth night? And on your sixth night, it's a shooter? Let's do, that's what dude said in the background. Run it back. And you notice he said something, but then I guess he got a call or whatever. But he was about to say something, and then the call, the, the recording stopped. And it's, it's another edit. We're back to him recording again. This shit was mass, bro. They just pulled, they just pulled. For the third time, he said this was mass, 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 mass shooting. He keeps saying that. Burner, pulled the burner in, in the club and started firing. So did he pull the burner in the club? Because I heard shots outside the club. Which one is it? Y'all comf y'all stories don't even fucking add up. And y'all videos don't even add up. Now there go the girl that's crying. We finally got somebody that was crying. One out of all this time, we finally got one. We got one crying. Yay! Another call, not a head. Come on, man. He keep getting phone calls. Bro, how you keep getting phone calls? Yeah, bro. No, this wasn't no little shooting, bro. It's like 13 bodies over there dead. Nigga, make up your mind. How do you know? You ain't even talk to nobody officially and get no word. What am I supposed to do about my car? Run. I just go we come back and get him. He said, what we supposed to do about my car? Dude said, we come back and get it. Come on, let me in. Jigga, you gotta scoot your seat up, bro. Yeah, but it, I'm not saying that's what I'm saying. Where you at? Bruh, they said it's at least 12 dead bodies out there, bro. But, bro, you just said 13, nigga. Come on, dog. For real? I was just sitting here watching this you shit. Good, though? If you call, if you need to call me, I don't want, oh, I'm good. Call me. Are you still online? Yeah, I am. He said you still on live, so we want to know the chat room. Who is this dude? We need to track his ass down. We need to know who he is. Somebody give me a name. We need to know where was he and when did he record this and where is he? I need I need to chat. I need to live from Facebook, IG, wherever. Somebody give me that. For those who see that light in the garage, that's security in the garage or police in the garage.
Once again, the cleanest crime scene I've ever seen of a mass shooting. Again. Man, whatever. I fall for the opie dog if y'all want to. Why'd you stay out of business, boy?